knows this so well. No, she doesn't. She oh, my God, Melissa. I don't feel like we're being a team. I did it to benefit my child. At least you're honest. Lily, you get a private. We have Maddie on videotape learning her solo. Don't even go there with me, Jill. It's nice to put all your eggs in one basket. If Kendall can get a little extra help to be the best she can be, I'll take it. Let's see it. Ready with music? This week, Maddie has another solo. She will be performing a ballet piece entitled Ballerina. Maddie has the opportunity to show off all this technique that she's worked so hard to achieve. Having a ballet solo is definitely going to be a challenge. Mm-hmm. Well, hasn't Maddie been having a bunch of ballet privates? She has one a week. An hour and a half. Yeah. That's great. It's fabulous. No, no, but she knows this solo. No, she doesn't. She oh, my God, Melissa. She just came out and did, like, a minute and a half of a dance, she, of a two-minute oh, dance. OK, she did a minute and a half. No, your daughter's just here from morning till night. No, they're not. They're only here at 1 o'clock for voice lessons, and then they have one private each. That's oh, like a uh, full-time job. I chose my kids to be homeschooled this year, and if they have an advantage, they have an advantage. They get to dance more, so I'm sick of hearing about it. First of all, it's really none of your business. It's never any of our business when you don't like I, I think that... I'm not put on the hot seat because guess what? I chose to have my kids go homeschooling so they have but their privates. I don't oh, agree please. with that. Well, that's your problem. I don't agree with that. I really can care less. All right, and next, this is Maddie with Ballerina. Ballet is not Maddie's strong point. She's been putting a lot of time and energy in the solo, so I surely hope she can pull it off. I think it proves to Abby that she's an all-round dancer, and that's what Abby wants. And your highest scoring seat to your soloist with a score of 278.2 is Maddie with Act yeah! 25 Ballerina. I'll take that! <laughs> the moms can say what they want about homeschooling, but Maddie is very happy, and when Maddie's happy, I'm happy. Chloe's just not focused today. She is stumbling over choreography that she should be picking up like it's second nature. Listen to me, go out, get a drink of water, clear your brain. I decided to give Chloe a little break so that she can gather her thoughts, review her choreography, and get her act together. In the meantime, I want Maddie to perform her new solo for my senior company. They need to realize that a little nine-year-old can learn a whole routine and execute it flawlessly in one day. Christy, she's running Maddie's solo again. I can't believe Abby interrupted Chloe's solo rehearsal just so Maddie could perform in front of the senior company. I mean, she's not even trying to hide her favoritism anymore. It's a slap in the face to everyone, especially Chloe. It's nice to put all your eggs in one basket. Yeah, OK. Watch the maturity in the level of dancing. Watch the ability to comprehend the movement. When I give you something that I envision and you make it better than what I ever thought it could be, that's great. That's amazing. That's what they want to see. Abby is trying to turn our kids against your kid. No, and you let her do it. No, I don't. Some of you are almost twice her age. Go, go to town. Here we are for the energy dance competition. My girls are gonna have to step it up if they want to impress that Joffrey Ballet Scout. For smooth transitions. Tell the story. Pretty. Maddie and Chloe are both doing three dances this week. They're both doing a solo, a trio, and a group number. And frankly, I don't know if 
Abby has spent enough time with Chloe so that she feels prepared, and I'm really worried. I've been working really hard on my solo this week, so I'm not gonna let Miss Abby down. Please welcome to the stage, Maddie, with a solo performance, Quiet Voices. solo this week was one of my favorites that she's ever done. She had a lot of feelings, and I was very impressed. I was very happy with her dance. She had the entire audience in the palm of her hand. You could hear a pin drop in that place, and that's what Maddie does. It's here, and it's here, because she loves to dance, and her home is on the stage. great things. I need to make sure that she's in it for the long haul. The turns were good. Did you hear people clapping? Yeah, yeah that was me. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Maddie's solo was fabulous. And I really think that it should be, because she's the one whom Abby spends the most time with. Listen to the music, Chloe rushing. Chloe's in the dressing room going over her routine. And I'm watching her out of the corner of my eye. She keeps forgetting one part of the number. So I said, Chloe, stop. Let me fix that part, and let's do it over and over so you get it in your body. I saw Chloe starting to really doubt herself in Miami, and now I see it even more. I want her to stay that innocent person, and so I would rather be the bitch and protect her and fight for her and let her maintain that innocence. Remember, it's not about winning, OK? Mm -hmm. It is about you going out there and doing it to the best that you can do it, OK? OK. All right. Uh, Chloe, listen to me. When judges go on a break, do not step out on that stage so every judge is seated and has attention on that stage. Because they could still be eating or getting their coffee or figure out where their papers are. Do you understand me? Yes. Love you. Please welcome to the stage Chloe from the Abby Lee Dance Company with the solo performance, Watercolors Fade. watching Chloe on stage. She's performing. She looks beautiful. Everything's great. And then, here I go. I'm watching her. And here's the part that she kept forgetting in the dressing room. Boom! Forgets another part. I mean, come on, kid. What are you doing? Chloe looked horrified when she forgot part of her dance. And I know how important this Joffrey opportunity is to her. And I just want to say to her, Chloe, you are so much better than you think. I can only hope that he didn't notice. This is one of the reasons I hate to watch my kids dance. I mean, I'd rather stand out in the hallway and pace. I mean, come on, Chloe. We worked for this. You've earned it. You're getting to do a solo, and you just blow it? Everybody blinks, but you stay on stage, you keep dancing, you figure it out, and you get back on the music. When Abby's talking to Chloe after she forgot part of her solo, all I'm thinking to myself is, you know, maybe if you gave her the same amount of attention as you do to everyone else, she wouldn't forget. Junior division. In first place in the junior division. Can I get a drum roll, please? Entry number 39B, Quiet Voices, Maddie. Chloe didn't place. She forgot part of her dance, but she kept dancing. So I really hope that she learns from this experience and becomes better for it. Awesome job. I am so happy that I won first place. It feels really good. OK, you three, go through this door, come around the girls, and see. It. go to Miss Olga. Why are the little ones in ballet class? They pulled the three little ones, and they're doing the group. This is a problem, that we have a group dance, but yet 
she's not having the group dance. <laughs> a third of the group is not in the group dance for rehearsal. And That's this brilliant. is why they shouldn't be dancing in one group number. If we lose, guess whose fault it is? Because your kids are in ballet that class. Line. This is the beginning where the kids couldn't find the line. Why are they not practicing to find the line? Why don't we go ask the girls and see if they have like any insights? So were you guys told that you needed to be in here right now? What did Abby say? She said Did you guys die off already? Hey, what's the deal with the mothers in here? No parents are allowed in the room. We didn't know if you would remove them from the group piece. Well, I'm not paying Olga to come in and sit around. No, Eliana, Macy, you're done. Go, go, go. Lily, you get a private. You'll even get better. Goodbye. <laughs> What's wrong? Why'd Wait. you have to go in there? I just wanted to make sure. Stacy didn't. No, no you're not. Well, he's getting all this extra time and we're not. Well, then you know Because you what? had to go in there. Then you know what? Go in there and conduct your own ballet class. Okay? Honey, it's okay. It's totally, it's totally okay. Ugh. Why must there always be so much chaos when Yolanda's involved? There are tears galore, there's chaos. We have valuable time wasted because she only cares about her own kid, not the team. Were you talking about our kids to them? Uh, no, we were talking about competition, that you don't take one kid to win and take one kid to fail. You put your kids in and pray to God the ALDC wins. Well, uh, it used to be you put our kids together to push each other. And, and there's well, only do. one and, winner. In every right. day in class, but, they but should push each other. I think the point was we are saying the kids aren't pushed by eight-year-olds and nine-year-olds. They're not. The point is, Abby, you can't put an eight and a nine-year-old on a team with 14, 15, and 16-year-old kids and expect it to work. Expect the 16-year-old to be happy she's dancing with someone half her size. They need to be dancing and pushing kids their own age because they're not pushing our kids. And I want a teacher to be committed to the team, not one who comes and goes when they want to, not one that can't decide who's on the team and not on the team, not one who can decide where it should be minis, juniors, teens. Not one senior. who wants minis, period, Holly. No, Just say it. I, that's not yes. it. Figure it out, make a decision, grow up and put on your big girl pants and grow up and do your job. It has to get figured out within the next three weeks because this doesn't work. The fact is you're saying you don't want our kids here and the fact is they're staying, so get used to it. This is honestly getting old. I know that they say it's just not appropriate to be able to have a teenager dancing with a minis, but ladies, wake up, open your eyes, look around the competition scene, it happens everywhere. So why they continue to say the same thing over and over again, I have no idea. The point is, is that Abby invited the minis here. We're not going anywhere, and I don't know what else to do, but frankly at this point, I don't care. Next, we have overall high score for Group Slides to Production. Can we get a drum roll? I'm so fed up with these elite moms. They don't want to give our girls a chance. And so this piece has to win to prove them wrong. And honestly, Eliana wants to show her hometown that there's a reason why she is dancing with Abby. The overall high score for Group Slides and Production goes to Enter number 92, the thinner air, the harder to breathe. We did get a win, but we do not look like a cohesive team. We look like a fragmented group of dancers that were thrown together. Is that the team you expect to bring a home a win at nationals? So we will be attending Powerhouse Dance Competition in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Maddie, you will be doing a solo this weekend. 
The name of your routine is Be Anything. And my last solo will be going to Chloe. Chloe, the name of your solo is called You Can. I have something crazy planned. I've decided that Maddie and Chloe should do the same exact solos. Why? Because I am sick and tired of hearing Christy go on and on about the choreography. If you want to do what Maddie's doing, game on. Wait, play yours. Wait, what happened? It's the same. It is the same. We're in the den, and Maddie decides to play her solo music. And I'm like, whoa, that's Chloe's solo music. So then it finally hits me that Abby is giving the two of them the exact same solo. Why do we have the same dance? It's fine. This week, I think Abby decided to teach me a lesson more than anyone, because I always say, let's even the playing field and see where the chips fall. Oh, thank god you're finally here. Well, I was getting- you hate drinking by yourself? Yes, because when you drink alone, you have a problem. When you drink with a friend, it's a party. I wonder how things are going to play out with Melissa this week. But as soon as she thinks no one is listening, she's like stage mom personified. I mean, way more than, than me, way more than you, way more than anybody. She is the ultimate stage mom, but she pretends that she's not. Melissa is really good about like getting those extra time and extra privates and extra classes for the kids. It's wrong. Mm -hmm. When one kid has the upper hand because they've been given it or taught it or had more time for it. Oh no, it's not an advantage. My children didn't learn their solo. They just have psychic powers. <laughs> and then our kids are like, they like stand there and blink like normal people learning a dance, but then comparatively speaking, they look like they don't know what's going on. You can't it's keep never been an getting field. a leg up and then being so surprised when your kid wins. They were meant to win. I think we should go to the studio because I will bet you her kids are there learning their solos. Yeah, I'm sure they are. Clink on it. Clink. Secrets are lies. <laughs> Clearly, no one will ever know. Our plan is to prove what we have known all along, that Maddie gets extra private time. Uh, wait, look. Gia and Janine's cars are here. Janine always choreographs oh, Mackenzie, and Gia, Gia does, does Maddie. Maddie. I knew that Maddie and Mackenzie were inside getting extra rehearsal time. Melissa just doesn't play fair. Did you get video? I got video. <gasps> this Who? Maddie. Oh. But we turn around, get in front of the door. She's not letting them watch each other. This is weird. I know. I'm sorry to see them both working on a solo at the I same time. The judges be like, didn't I just I see can't. this dance? This is a toss up. And I think both of them want this bad. They're both dancing great. Maddie and Chloe's solos are up soon. This is a big, big moment for both of them. This is Chloe's moment. This is her opportunity to step out there and take that spotlight. Chloe danced beautifully. And if I were Melissa and Maddie, I'd be worried. Maddie bobbled one of her turns, but she did dance beautifully. But I think she could have done better. What happened? Oh my kids are bad. All of them. Every single one. I know Abby said she gave the girls an even playing field, but I know what I have. Evidence of Maddie having an extra private. We have Maddie on videotape learning her solo. Don't even go there with me, Jill. It was the same day. You're, Melissa, you're lying. Jill and I found your daughter learning her dance. You, you know nothing. What difference does it make? You all know damn well Maddie can learn to dance in one hour and go out there and do it. This weekend, we will be traveling to Bernardsville, New Jersey. And the duet will be Kendall and Nia. It's contemporary, but it's cool. And the name of it is Dig It. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two. Your foot needs to point when it pulls off the floor. Point it. Mia and Kendall are in the studio learning their duet, Dig It. 
They both move a little too slow for my liking. Now, Jill, she wants Kendall to be a superstar. Jill, pay attention, because nobody's going to be digging this routine. Here, I'm going to, I need to go down and check. This week, Nia and Kendall have a duet. And all I can think is, you know, look out, Holly, because Jill's coming. She wants Kendall to shine and be special in the duet. This private that Kendall is having with Gia is about Kendall's personal growth. If Kendall can get a little extra help to be the best she can be, I'll take it. Where's Jill? I found her. What's she doing? Uh, having a private with Kendall. For what? what? To make sure that she's the superstar of the duet. Oh, you're kidding me. Now, why would Nia be in there? Isn't this, isn't a duet two, two people? people? Come on, Holly, I'll okay. go. I have to say, I was a little surprised to see that Kendall was in the private. But Why? Why? Well, because it's a duet. It is a way for her to stand out more than Mia. Jill is the definition of a stage mom. You know, instead of putting Kendall's photo on that pyramid, I think Jill would be better off with her headshot. Come on, Kay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where are you going? Now I'm going to the restroom. Holly, can you go find out where Jill is? Find her in the bathroom. Hey. Hey. Yeah, I guess you didn't expect to see me out here, <laughs> huh? You want Nia to come out here to join you? I would love her to. I'm disappointed. I just talked to Jill yesterday about having privates with teachers. I just don't understand why she does this. You should have been in there and said, Holly, guess what? Yeah, Gia's out here. We were just saying, where's Gia? Where's Gia? She should be working with the girls. We need our help. She should be working with the girls. Girls. And she was. Girls. Right. Plural. Holly, it's not a private, because I'm not paying for it. I didn't schedule it. This is the job of a dance instructor. I'm so proud of them, and nothing went wrong. I really hope Abby can be pleased with this performance. Wow, yeah, see, Jill, good. all that extra help paid off. It sure did. I, yeah. I thought they looked great. But you know what, Holly? I thought Nia was fabulous in the duet, and you didn't even need all the extra help. Doing this stuff behind each other's back, I don't feel like we're being a team. I didn't do anything behind your back. I did it right in front of you, and I did it to benefit my child. At least you're honest. I'd rather somebody say, you know what, I'm going to do everything I can than say, I'm not going to do it, and then sneak around and do it. So whatever. Now moving into our elite junior duet trio division. In fifth place, entry number 36, Dig It. For a number to be good enough to win, there are certain elements that you need in the number. And this duet wasn't really choreographed to be a winning number. Well, well, well. Kendall, did your private with Gianna help in the duet? I think you two have a big hole to dig yourselves out of. They need to figure out, do they love to dance? Do they love to compete? And do they love to win? Do they want this to be a career? Because if you don't, move aside. I don't want to be nasty, but it's tough love sometimes. I love you kids. I do. I love all my students. But I don't love what happened out there today. It's the battle of the pop stars. Girls, pop stars are always trying to be number one on the charts, number one on the radio, number one video out there. That's what it's all about. So I'm trying to figure out who's going to be my number one star. Or should I say number two. Kendall and Chloe are battling for the number two position on this team. Maddie's the number one girl. I mean, she's proved herself time and time again. And with my open calls coming up, maybe that number two spot isn't good enough. Uh. Chloe's solo this week is To Hear Me Roar. It's a jazz number inspired by Katy Perry. Now, Katy Perry is a confident young woman. She gets out on stage and she entertains that audience. She puts on a whole spectacular show. Can Chloe do that? Watch your arms, they're goofy. So tight. Run, run. Chloe has not had a solo in a really long time because she didn't get to dance at nationals. So this is her opportunity to prove not only to Abby, but to everyone that she is irreplaceable on this team. And the only way that she can do that is by beating Kendall. I think healthy competition can be good for the kids. They know one is going to come in ahead of the other. 
Kendall's routine is demand applause, influenced by none other than Lady Gaga. She writes her songs about her joy, her victory, her defeat. Kendall doesn't do that. Kendall just tries to nail all the steps. She forgets about all this. I'm not gonna take anything away from Kendall. I think she's a fabulous dancer, but wasn't it Chloe and Maddie for years? Why all of a sudden is Chloe sort of by the wayside fighting for number two? I don't know, Jill, that's pretty clean for you only having 30 minutes on that. I don't know what you want me to say. I really need her to be her best this weekend. You gotta step up with them on three. So, Maybe Jill, you in it. weren't all that surprised that Kendall got a solo. Where are you going with this? Because she had a private on Sunday and when we came started home. started learning it? Mm -hmm. Well, I didn't know when, but yeah, she had half an hour with Gianna. Rumor has it that Kendall had a private two days ago, and it just so happens that the solo that she has now is the same dance that she was working on in the private. Maddie's learned stuff all year. And yeah, then... and you complain about it. No, no, well, right, but my point is, I didn't know her solo would be this week. I don't care what you say. Until all the kids have the same number of privates, it's not an even playing field. Jill is just the kind of person who will make sure that Kendall does anything to win. But you all still she did knew, was she had a half hour. I knew she knew had she a half hour private. Learning a solo yes. early, before Pyramid, before okay. any of her solos. Two days was, ago. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's two extra days, and that's a half an hour more than. Oh my God. Christy is all over me right now because Kendall had a half hour private to learn her solo and Chloe didn't. I'm not gonna sit around all week and listen to her bitch and moan about it. That's her problem, not mine. So, yeah. I, you know what, I don't wanna sit here and listen to this. I'm leaving. I'm going down to get privates, Christy, in case you're wondering. All right, Chloe, let's go. Whoa. Oh, you look cute. I like the feathers. This is Chloe's first solo in a really long time. She didn't have a chance to dance at nationals, and I can see that she's really nervous and she's working herself up. You do your whole, like, I'm so nervous garbage, like how you're looking like this, your phone's gone. Like, I'm so tired of always talking off the ledge. I'm telling her to stop freaking herself out, because she's over here like. Come here. Can I run my solo? Kendall. I don't need any brats on this team. It will not be tolerated. If you cry one tear, you are not doing the solo and Maddie will go out and improv. And watch who you're rolling your eyes at, kiddo. I think she's fighting back the tears. She was not rolling her eyes at you, Abby. She would not roll her eyes at you. What Kendall needs to do at this moment is focus. This is Kendall's chance to climb up the ranks and take that number two spot from Chloe. This will be Kendall. Kendall is I'm getting ready and the stage is all set I'm feeling love from everyone that I see The lights are on and I can finally be free To show the world why everybody loves me on a turn during her opening turn sequence, and that might be just the opening Chloe needs to calm herself down. Please welcome to the Believe stage, entry number 11, Chloe with Hear Me Roar. Entry number 11.
Good job. Could have been better. You came out and looked stunning gorgeous and then choked on that first turn. Fell backwards out of it. You watched her from the wings below the first turn and then you played it safe. Sometimes the competition MC calls out the wrong order. Chloe got lucky and she used it to her advantage. Had she gone out there and nailed that turn, you would have been a mess going out there after her. Got it? Abby's right. If Kendall danced after Chloe, maybe we would be having a different conversation right now. Here we go. Overall, 9 to 11 solo advanced category. I need for Kendall to place higher than Chloe. I really want this for her. I need this for her. Here we go. Starting with fifth place will be entry number 12. Demand applause with Kendall. Kendall's fifth, not good enough, not good enough for Kendall, not good enough for me, and really not good enough for Abby. This may be the end of Kendall's solos. For second place, regional champion, Chloe. Chloe beat Kendall today. You know, she did what Abby challenged her to do. She proved that she really is the number two dancer on this team, and I really hope that that's enough to keep her on this team.